Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. <laughs> and today we're going to be blasting fucking Japan's Anatomia Hollowed Cadaver. Oh yeah. We have a new Anatomia track for 2019. Dismal, slow, death metal from Japan. If you're a fan of Undagang, Worm Ridden, Autopsy, you have no excuse here not to get into Anatomia. Hollowed Cadaver recorded April 2019 at Studio Whiteness. Anatomia is Takashi on drums and vocals and Jun on bass and guitars. I forgot they went back to a duo when it comes to recording. And this is their new song. Um, thanks to Dennis for sending us my way. He said that Takashi posted some up and he just instantly snagged them before they sold out. I guess these are sold out. I honestly did not check. So I'll put a Bandcamp link below and you might get lucky. But. This reminds me a lot of Cranial Obsession, their last full length, which is fucking great. But at the same time, it's just its own fucking beast. I cannot wait for some new Anatomia material. I love this band. Probably Japan's heaviest, right next to Coffins. So goddamn good. If you're new to Anatomia, though... I highly suggest checking out their split with Wundagong, as it is bad fucking ass. It's a nice 10 inch, and it comes on this fucking stomach churning vinyl. There's a Japanese version, and the um, Wundagong version, which is what I have. But. We are here today to talk about the third full-length record from Canada's Two Mode. This is Planetary Clairvoyance. Once more on 20 Bucks Spin Records, we are here for full-length number three. And holy shit, is it a banger. For a time, fear held me, and I prayed wildly and incoherently for some ray of light with which to dispel the cold blackness that enveloped the world. William Hope Hodgkin. Fuck yes. First off, hails to Derek for wearing an ass suck photo in the promo picture. Hopefully that gets a bunch of people to check out Ass Sucks Record Misery Index. So good! But this record right here is worth the price alone for the first song, Beg for Life. It is probably my second favorite Tomb Mold song and hands down my favorite song on Planetary Clairvoyance. And you have Max on drums and vocals, Derek Vela on guitar, Steve Musgrave on bass, and Pace and Power on guitar. I can't wait for fucking Friday. Get to see Tomb Mode again with Superstition this time. First time seeing Superstition, so I am stoked as I love their new record so goddamn much. Like, oh, it's so fucking good. And as much as I love the new Tomb Mold, I do love the new Superstition a little bit more, but two completely different monsters. This legitimately reminds me of Whisper Supremacy, Error Cryptopsy, musically. Alongside of a little bit of Then You'll Beg era cryptopsy, like musically. Alongside your usual Finnish suspects of influence, demigod, convulse, etc. But also on record number three, 
tomb mold sound like tomb mold and that is awesome finally getting that sound that's your own sound fuck yeah that's awesome and I think it's insane that in September this shit was like almost written already like the two tracks on here this is the Cerulean Salvation promo from September 2018 but uh, you have Planetary Clairvoyance they grow inside part 2 and Cerulean Salvation on this bad boy I always liked this promo tapes art I thought it was sick. And I, I really did think they were going for a more serious art direction. But a lot of their demos and promos do look a lot, you know, like this. And the complete opposite of the debut. Where you just get that slimy, you know, very finishy, but still sick as fuck artwork and whatnot as primordial malignity is still my favorite tomb mold release i do not have it on vinyl but i listen to this tape all the fucking time and like i was saying completely different artistic stylings and that's just showing a band progressing not only musically but visually and here is a perfect example of it. Now, as much as I loved the Brad Moore artwork of Manners, it did not come with a poster or anything along those lines, as I always loved the back end of this. I thought this would make a wonderful, like, massive flag with all the artwork. Super sick and very in touch with the lyrical concepts. Same here with Planetary Clairvoyance. And um, let's go over some of the cosmetics real quick, shall we? I love this piece right here. Very, very remnant of something that would be in the early Ghostbusters cartoon. Like, this really reminds me of the fucking containment unit from the Ghostbusters cartoon. It's sick, but um, the cover and lyric artwork is by Jesse Jacobi, and the additional artwork is by Lucas Corte, who I'm guessing took care of this bad boy right here, alongside the vertical end of the poster, which I fucking think is so sick, I just don't really have room for it right now, but look at that. I think each one of these is a fucking t-shirt design, too. If not, they should be. Awesome, awesome artwork. And then horizontally, you get the cover art. Which is super, super sick. There's so much fucking shit going on. I really like the kind of nod to Alien with the xenomorphic eggs right here. And I'm guessing that they're not you know, dripping acid, but are just dripping slime and whatnot. But that's what that reminded me of. This whole entire area kind of reminds me of the derelict spaceship from the original Alien film. And from the uh, deleted scene in Aliens, where Newt's parents go to the derelict ship. Shipped. They go to the derelict spaceship, and that's kind of how... They bring back the host's alien parasite to the colony. But you have to watch the director's cut of Aliens to see that scene. But musically on here, I really, really feel like the A side of things is a hell of a lot stronger than the B side. And I don't mean that in any offensive way, as on Manners, I liked the B side more than I liked the A side. And here, I like the A side more than the B side. And you have tracks, like I said, Beg for Life has this part where there's acoustic guitar, and then Max comes in with his vocals, and it's just like, 
Oh my fucking god, this is so sick. And then it goes in the planetary clairvoyance. They grow inside part two, which was on the Cerulean Salvation promo. And it just gets gnarlier and gnarlier and gnarlier until it's time to flip sides. And it's still gnarly, but like... Until the last track, Heat Death, I kind of was just like, okay, like, it sounds like Tomb Mold, it's good, but, you know, it wasn't really grabbing my attention as much as tracks like Infinite Resurrection did on side A. But this record right here, everyone's going to pretty much, if you're a fan of modern death metal, Bands like Outer Heaven, Scorched, fucking A, you are going to devour this. Especially the author Risk. I think author mastered it. Ah, fuck. Sorry, the poster got wrapped up in the uh, other shit. But, uh, I apologize. This was recorded at Boxcar Studios by Sean... Pearson in February 2019 and was mixed and mastered by author Risk. So you get that very loud, punchy production. It's very, very fucking sick sounding. I, I dig it a lot, actually. I really, really like the production on here. I think author is one of the few people that can like do a heavy metal record and then make a kick-ass death metal record that's very, very high in clarity, like Tomb Mold, and then grab something like Piss Grave and just, you know, make some of the filthiest death metal recorded in 2019. And this is, like I said, a great record, but the B side of things I did feel kind of were lacking compared to the four tracks on the A side. I really like the one transmission type track. Uh, it might be an intro. I'm not 100% sure, but it's just cool as fuck. Yeah, it, it's uh, over the earth there fell once more the brooding night. But if you're a fan of Tomb Mold, yeah, this is a no-brainer here. Planetary Clairvoyance. Get into this fucking beast. As it is a beast. I'm just extremely picky. And there's so much gnarly death metal coming out. It's one of those things like... Yeah, the A side of things. Fuck yeah. A plus. The B side, I'm gonna give a B to. But still, this is completely worth your time. Worth your money. And just goes to show that Tomb Mode fucking rule. How would I compare it to Manners of Infinite Forms? Well, this does have Gord Embrace on it and Chamber of Sacred Uthaka. I don't know. But nothing to me still has one-upped the debut full-length Primordial Malignity. I need this on vinyl. But I do love Manner of Infinite Forms, but I'm telling you, that Beg for Life track on the A-side of Planetary Clairvoyance, it's that fucking good that I'm just going to put, you know, Manners of Infinite Forms to the side and say, yeah, the A-side of this fucking crushes. But yeah, Tomb Mold's one of those bands that legitimately do not have a bad song. So keep that in mind and dive into Planetary Clairvoyance head fucking first. I forgot to show you the LP. I got one of the Tri-Merge variants and it's fucking sick looking. Looks sick, sounds sick, and yeah. I'm sure it sounds just as gnarly on black vinyl, so I would snag whatever you can. But Friday, seeing them live with Superstition, thanks to Aaron, and thank you John Randall, and thank you Dennis, thank you all for watching, you fucking rule. Hells. <laughs>